Hi, I'm Jason with Pohaki Wilderness, and today we're going to show you how to set up our brand new rendezvous four-person tent. This tent has two poles for the main structure of the tent, very simple, and they cross each other in an X pattern on the roof. And very simply, at all four corners, pins fit into the ends of each of these roof poles. Once the two poles are in place, go around to all four corners and attach the C-clips onto each of the poles. And as with any tent, you want to make sure that you stake down the four corners. The rainfly has its own pole and goes on separately, and it inserts into two opposite-facing roof pole pockets. So you want to insert that first before putting the rainfly on the tent. Once the roof pole is inserted into the rainfly, just drape it over the roof of the tent with the direction of the roof pole going fore and after the tent, not side to side. And very simply, the rainfly attaches to the tent with these elastic hooks at each of the four corners of the rainfly that attach to the same ring that the pin is attached to at the bottom of the tent that we use to insert the roof poles. At each of the corners of the rainfly are Velcro loops underneath. You want to make sure you wrap these and secure them around the roof poles. And that's part of the structure of the rainfly and keeping it secure to your tent. As with any tent, you want to make sure you secure it with stakes and guide lines. The guide lines are already attached for your convenience to the tent. The way the guide lines work, there's a plastic slider that has three holes. Position it so it's facing away from the tent and pull a loop out of the last two holes, the two furthest away from the tent. This is how the slider adjusts tension on the guide line. We recommend putting the guide line out at a 45 degree angle, staking it to the ground. Here in the back you're going to find two additional features. The first is an additional stake down point. Just use one of your ground stakes supplied. And then the second is a rear access ventilation port zipper that you also want to stake to the ground. An access port for power cords so that you can power electronic devices inside the tent from a power source outside the tent, such as a solar panel, generator, or other power source. A rear access ventilation port. Here you'll find gear hammocks and gear pockets for miscellaneous gear. 